Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your reading for July 2023. I'm a little late, um, but you know, I believe in divine timing, so this is probably the perfect timing. Um, okay, so this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You can certainly have planets in the sign of Scorpio. Um, you may be in love with the Scorpio. I know I have some Scorpios I love. Uh, shout out to my daughter, October 29th, um, Jenny Love Chiro. Many of you already know her. She has her own channel called Jenny Love Chiro. Um, my brother, who is November 6th, uh, and both, I have to say, have the most loving hearts. Um, to the point where sometimes I feel like they can be taken advantage of. But other than that, you know, very loving. Um, and beautiful. So... Anyways, let's go ahead and get into your reading. You know, some of you were just intuitively guided to the reading. And I love that more and more of you just trust in your intuition. You know, there can be something in the title, something within the time. Numbers to me are always important. You know, so even like the time of a video. And I don't I don't try to uh, make a video end at a certain time. Like when my reading is over, it's over. Um, so, again, whatever brought you, welcome. All right, so we're going to use four different decks for July. Of course, we're going to use Mother Mary for our words of wisdom. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or to go deeper. And then we're going to use the Psychic Tarot for your main spread. But we're also, for this month, bringing back the Major Arcanas. Um, you guys know I only do this a couple times a year. Um, but I love them. You know, I feel like they give us they give us great insight to what we're about to see within the spread. Um, and sometimes they're their own little message on top of being a message within the spread. I feel like Mother Mary works the same way. Like I read from the book at the end of the reading because I'm just telling you the words are profound. Um, I used to read it at the beginning. But then I found, like, reading it at the end, like, everything that Mother Mary says, it's, like, in our reading, and it just gives us even more clarity. Um, I want to say also, because these readings are going to be a little longer for July, you know, all of them are over an hour, um, but that's really where I feel comfortable. Like, I love to, I love to give you full clarity. Uh, so for those who don't have patience for that long of a reading, I would say, you know, go as far as you can. But then before you leave, skip to the end, at least the last 10 minutes, because um, I always find it's mind blowing. So I hate for you to miss that. But that, of course, is up to you. All right. Let's go ahead and get into your reading, though. Let's start with Mother Mary. Everything's pre-shuffled. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shuffle or two for you. I feel like my ears are really clogged. It's a very strange feeling. You know, almost like I'm underwater. And I've said this many times where Scorpio, I feel, is just as, com just as comfortable under the water as above the water. So, whatever that means. All right, let's begin. Scorpio. Okay, Mother Mary's taking her time, but there we go. All right, we got two cards. We have present moment. You know, present moment reminds me of judgment in the tarot. Um, present moment. I am fully present in the here and now. Why? Because that's where your signs are sent. You know, uh, red flags, that's where they're sent. You just have to learn to trust them. I feel like, you know, when you get this type of energy, it's talking about something new potentially that wants to open up. And um, you being of present mind is only going to help you. All right. And then we have mercy. Mercy, have mercy on my soul. I am kind and thoughtful towards myself and others. I am kind and thoughtful towards myself and others. Don't forget yourself. 
don't forget yourself in the mix. All right, let's go ahead and bring in the major arcanas. We'll put those aside for a second. Again, pre-shuffled, but not a lot of cards to shuffle, but we're going to go ahead and just give them a shuffle. Let's give them a cut. So weird how my ears feel. I'm like here trying to yawn, but okay. I'm shooting for three, but whatever wants to come out is fine. Well, to a point. You know, I find that I find that Scorpio is very comfortable around many different types of people. I feel like Scorpio, um, you know, I feel like your heart is, well, I feel like you have an empathetic heart and I feel like your heart is pulled towards those who may be less fortunate, um, maybe need a hand up. I feel like the only thing you want to be careful of is that you know who you're giving a hand up and it is a hand up and not just a hand out. Um, but I find you very comfortable in in all aspects. All right, we have the strength card, card of Leo. Um, you know, this talks about our own inner demons, demons and finding balance within that. You know, it's like, it, it reminds you that you're both light and dark, male and female. And um, when we find that balance within ourselves, I feel like a lot of things just fall in place. You know, it's an eight number of infinity as above, so below. Sometimes we do have to take a look at, you know, are the demons in my life um, trying to control my energy? I feel like it also speaks about, you know, as you overcome certain things, it only makes you stronger. I mean, look, she has complete control of this lion, right? The king of the jungle. But she's got her arms around it. It's like I balance them both. Okay. So we'll see what that's talking about. But I do feel like just with the number eight, and then the present moment for Mother Mary, I do feel like something new wants to open up, which, you know, that is life. Uh, doors are always closing so that new doors can open. I feel like we have to learn that. And when we do learn, I like we have to know what doors need to close. All right. Your cards are very slow today. Well, hello lovers. Interesting. Carter Gemini. Um, lovers really speaks about a head of a heart decision a decision. Interesting because I feel like um, you know, this can also talk about I feel in one direction, like, you know, there can be an energy that tempts you to it, you know, that may not um be the greatest, but I feel like in then on the other side of that Maybe an energy that um, is much, mm, how do I want to say it? I just feel like it's more in the light. We have Leo and Gemini side by side there. And then we have the Hermit, Carter Virgo. Um, you know, it's interesting because, first of all, the hermit in this image is emerging from the cave. You know, I think of the hermit as someone who's gone through the dark night of the soul, um, you know, has gone through some tough experiences. However, you know, in that energy, there was a lot to learn. Um, and some of it may have been your own energy. Again, like the things that I may have been tempted to, um, where I allow the dark to outshine the light you know and I feel like for some of you it is talking about a person um, but I feel like this hermit is emerging from the cave 
He's his beacon of light is illuminating um, his steps forward, his or her step forward, um, but also helps illuminate steps for others. So number nine. So like final reflection, maybe the hermit is reflecting upon the strength card. Again, those things that tempt me, that pull me. Um, but it's really just about finding balance. If it's talking about two people here, it really is finding balance. The hermit, I feel like, is an old soul. You know, is an old wise soul. Why is he wise or she wise? Because the hermit understands that, you know, I came down into this lifetime and although I would like everything to be like hunky-dory, really my soul um, needed to have some hard experiences for it to, to it expand. You know, like we're meant to expand in this lifetime. Um, I feel like, you know, our souls come down for many different reasons and many different experiences. And that's where, like, the final reflection on the chapter before helps you then open the door to what's going to be next. So, interesting, we have the lovers between the strength card and the hermit. I definitely feel like someone is, like, finding some clarity also as it relates to, um love let's say or person I also feel um, again I'm feeling this hermit as like an old soul type of energy um, you know some of you may like have like different spiritual type businesses and uh, you're helping due to you know you being able to find this balance I feel like then you're helping to light the way for others. Again, you got to know, like, you know, if I'm going to invest my time in lighting, helping to illuminate someone else's uh, next steps, is it worth it? You know, will they appreciate it? That type of thing. So we'll see. We're going to slide these over here. And we're going to bring in the psychic tarot now. We'll see how all this plays into it. Remember, the strength card is also number eight, so it is about a new beginning. Present moment, same thing. The hermit, the final reflection. All right, let's give him a cut. And let's begin. Remember, time is fluid also. Um, and what I mean by that, because some of you may still be like in a reflection mode. You know, I'm still reflecting back, trying to understand, you know, situations, understand myself. Um, it can be talking about love, you know, again, the lover's head over hard decision. But I feel like if that's the case, your guides are helping you. Um, but those signs are here and now. All right, we have financial and material changes. Financial and material changes, number five. So it is a change. That's what five stands for. Interesting. Hopefully that's for the best. Let's keep going. Mm. All right, tower. So I feel like someone, um, someone could have lost a job. I feel like something may have happened that um, shook up your finances. I feel like it's probably just for a period of time because I always feel like we can rebound from the tower. But it does feel a little destructive. So, interesting. I feel like... Um, it's like, you know, this tower causing a disruption... Well, let's see what follows it. A 
it's interesting because um, your cards are taking their time coming out, and I kind of felt like it, like this just feels very slow paced, almost like it's meant to be slow paced. All right, well we have patience and planning, so there is the rebound after the tower. You know, maybe I did lose a job. Maybe something has changed in my finances, you know. And again, it could be something that was completely out of your control. Let me bring the lid down. It can be completely out of your control. Um, but, but I feel like, again, the rebounding, right? Like, as I go through this change, think about it. You know, putting a plan in place. Maybe it's actually given me an opportunity to do something that... Um, I wouldn't have otherwise done you know number seven represents 2023 so I feel like it's talking about some type of rebound this year all right let's keep going you know it's almost like as I'm sitting in the towers energy let's say I feel like your mind starts working like, I feel like you receive epiphanies. Um, I feel like you've received, like, clues or something that piques your interest that may start you on a whole completely different path than what you ever thought. Um, maybe you never thought it was possible. But I do feel like, you know, first I got to get through this disruption. But while I'm in it, listen, putting a plan in place. And then we have spiritual strength. You know, I feel like for some of you, it's like I was working for the man. I was working for the company. For whatever the reason, um, that ended. You know, it was against your... You, you had no control over it, I feel like. Um, you know, I do. I just feel like, especially with the Five of Pentacles and the Tower, it's almost like you had no control over, you know, whatever that means to you however during that period i feel like it wasn't wasted because i do feel like you were receiving epiphanies and um like your guides are being very active so i can't get lost in then what can be like the heaviness of like oh no what am i going to do i feel like the universe is helping to supply you know helping you um being very proactive in your life now you got to be proactive in your life interesting because spiritual strength is mirrored by these losses so there's something i've learned but not just that i feel like it it puts you on this spiritual path again you know normally we don't like to see the tower right because it does mean disruption however i feel like Sometimes down the road, we can see that that tower was actually our friend. Spiritual strength, number nine. All you have gained, right? All the opportunity to learn. Looking at life a little differently. You know, once I start allowing my spirituality to seep in, um, and start to understand that and what I mean by that is like when I realize that I'm not just this human right I'm a spiritual being and um, I can overcome these towers and I do feel like many times you know not while we're going through it, it doesn't feel like our friend but once we move through it once we start on the next journey easily we can look back and be like you know what now I'm glad it happened so I feel like what it does is it's putting you more in a spiritual path, a spiritual journey. Again, like the wise old teacher. And you don't have to be old, you know. Um, it's just from your experiences. I feel like your guides are helping to lift a situation. You know, a nine and a five, change, final reflection upon that change. All right. Well, we have the chariot. Beautiful. Um, card of Cancer. We have the Empress under that tower. 
you know, that tells me how much growth you've had since that tower. It tells me that, you know, you didn't, like, listen, for a while we can be woe is me, but the Empress is someone who, um, you know, takes that tower and makes lemonade with it. She's very creative. Um, she's always receiving epiphanies and is learning that, you know, it's not like your guides aren't always present in your life, but sometimes we get lost within this earthly, you know, destruction or what have you. Um, but they're still here. They're still helping to guide you. So I do feel like some of you like end up on a path that you just never expected. Uh, but I do feel like you're ready. And I want to say the Empress is also someone who does have a very loving and nurturing heart. You know, she's learned not to let past experience to harden her heart. Um, and she doesn't need to because she's become wise. All right. Well, we have memories of love. Memories of love. And then we have the Eight of Swords. Interesting. Trapped in fear. Spiritual team is like, but we're right here with you, baby. We're right here with you. You know, the Eight of Swords is a self-created prison. Sometimes, again, when a tower happens, it feels like, oh, that's it. I'm done. You know, life is over type of thing. But as we move through that energy, again, if we keep our mind open, I feel like the universe supplies. Definitely the universe supplies. You know, with the lovers over here too, I feel like for some of you, it's not just talking about your finances, it's also talking about potential love. So the Eight of Swords is me creating a prison around myself, like barriers. Um, but the Empress would say, you don't need to do that, right? Your energy is your measure of what's good and what's not good, right? That feeling in your gut will tell you, you know, should I follow this or should I not? The Empress has no problem giving birth to her ideas. Um, and it's funny because, you know, I'm thinking of my daughter and like she's constantly receiving ideas and she has a notebook where she writes them all down. That's how many she receives. You know, this Eight of Swords being mirrored by the chariot over here. I feel like um, I got to allow myself to also have these opportunities again because the Empress is receiving and she's receiving guidance on her next steps. You know, uh, I love spiritual strength with the Empress and the chariot really is about finding balance. You know, once I receive balance, then uh, my life just feels, well, more balanced. Six of Cups for me, you know, this speaks about happy memories. Someone that um, holds special memories for me. Interesting is under the Seven of Pentacles. Because I feel in the Seven of Pentacles, it's about your soul seed of intention and bringing them to life. All right, well, let's keep going. Well, hello, Material Harvest. How do I love this? You know, we start the reading with financial and material changes. And again, it's the Five of Pentacles next to the Tower. So something that was out of my control, right? Something that may have changed my finances and maybe not for the best, right? I may have lost a job or maybe I just gave up on myself type of energy. Um, but then I feel like as the Empress here, like no time was wasted, right? You know, maybe for a moment or two, I did feel bad. Um, I was in the woe is me type energy, which you probably have every reason to be, right? But the Empress doesn't stay there, right? She's going to reflect upon what has happened. 
And again, it's like she's taking lemons and making lemonade out of it because this is uh, successful self-employment. This is about, you know, if you're willing to put the work in, it's telling you that you can have success, that you can build a career for yourself, a life for yourself. This is a very independent type energy, whether I'm with someone or not. You know, it's that energy of being able to take care of oneself. And there's nothing like that. You know, I feel like once I can take care of me financially, well, we probably don't put up with things that maybe otherwise we would. You know, I feel like this is me depending on me and no one else. Um, I feel like some of you are just receiving epiphanies. And, you know, if you take on the Empress's energy, I feel like... You are putting them into play. And I love that this is coming under the chariot because it, the chariot really speaks about unlimited potential. So how far can I take this? As far as you want. Don't allow fear, you know, or uncertainty, let's say, to stop you from making any changes. You know, don't allow fear like you, if you're receiving these epiphanies or ideas or, you know, instincts. Um, don't write them off, right? Pay attention to them because I feel like you, you can truly have the opportunity to then give birth to them. And again, I feel like you may find your life completely different than how we opened up. Material Harvest. Well, that is rebounding after the tower, no doubt. Whoa. Okay, that's a lot of cards, and I don't have room to take them all. All right, I'm going to look at them now. We have awareness, we have a new beginning, the full. So, again, this is like great energy of uh, receiving epiphanies and then putting them into place the fool is willing to take a chance the, the fool takes a leap of faith on oneself maybe with another rejoice in celebration so you know after i allow myself to take on the fool's energy it's like the universe is throwing a blessing your way recognition and reward well, that's about your uniqueness and um, trusting in that and then bringing it to the world. I often feel like, you know, some of us are like, listen, we may do something that a million other people do and maybe we feel like we can't stand out. This would tell you the opposite. Trust in yourself. Trust in your uniqueness. You know, other people will. Other people... I feel like, you know, let's just say a YouTube channel. You know, I'm thinking of my daughter. She has a YouTube channel. Like, you know, she puts the work in. She puts the effort in. I feel like the, her people will find her. Many of you are connected. We're all connected. The, the light, the sun, double Leo, complete illumination. Nothing to fear here but fear itself. Deception and envy. And then moving on. So I feel like this is just saying, you know, if there's any type of energy that I can't trust, there's anyone around me who puts me in the energy of, you know, talks about deception, envy. And it is a lower form energy. And I feel like a lot of times someone in this energy, um, you know, they take and they take and they take. But the Six of Swords is saying, you're not allowing that anymore, right? Because if we look back one card, it'd be the Five of Swords. And that is where you're understanding what is toxic to you. Who is toxic to you? You know, what is stopping, let's say, ma this material success that clearly is here, right? And it's after the tower. This is you taking a bold step and saying no more right and sometimes it's our own thought system 
can be a mix of all that. All right, but I am going to take these. We have truth. Well, same as present moment. New beginning. Truth is calling you to the present moment. Um, so that you can receive these epiphanies. I love the Empress being right above that. It is so that you can have a rebirth. It's a rebirth of what? After the tower. So again, that tower, right? Disruption. It disrupted, you know, for some of you, your finances, maybe a job, that type of thing. But you are rebounding. You know, you need to allow yourself we have, well, hello, Nine of Cups. Do I love that you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups in this line? This is inner harmony. This is really loving one's life again. You know, I'm finding things to be thankful for, joyful for. We have the waiting game under Trapped in Fear, under the Eight of Swords. I don't know. I feel like if you've been waiting, I don't feel like you're waiting anymore. You know, maybe I've been waiting for someone to make changes or, you know, whatever it is that you're waiting for. It, it feels like, mm, well, what else do we have here? Look at this. We have the five of cups with that. So I feel like, I feel like you're done waiting. Interesting, I've gotten this card in so many readings, so I feel like a lot of people are like in this waiting game and a lot of people are coming to this realization of, you know, I'm not going to wait. Like sometimes, yes, we want to wait, but I feel like this is more because this person's like pacing the floor. And from this energy is the Eight of Swords. Self-created prison. I got to break myself free. That's probably why we saw the fool, right? Break myself free from what? Well, just the things that, you know, I put my life on hold for, but don't seem to work out. Some of you, you may be looking for material success or, you know, professional success and um this may see, say that you need to like break free from any limiting thoughts of i can't because you can and it's connected to emotional loss so for some of you this can also speak about love i feel like i feel like we're it's covering all areas for you um but this is the five of cups and again, it's a five. It's interesting because the five opens a reading, a five closes this spread. Um, but emotional loss, that's where my focus is at. And that really is what has me tied in knots. The Eight of Swords. The waiting game. You know, what happens when the person in the Five of Cups decides no longer to wait? No longer to focus on what I think I have lost? Well... They turn around and there's two cups. Now, I don't mean it's, you know, it can be instant, but it doesn't have to be. But there are two cups waiting for this person. It feels like, but the universe is saying, my dear, you know, there are two cups. There is material success, but you, you've got to break yourself free of limiting you know like limited ideas um what can i will i and instead start moving into it you know like i feel like the tower again disruption but i do feel like the ability to rebound from it and again i feel like that tower energy though difficult i feel like one day you're going to look back and you're going to be like thank god for that tower because if it wasn't for that tower Maybe I never would have found the Nine of Pentacles, right? Material harvest. And what, what does that mean? It means that you, from your hard work, what you put into the Nine of Pentacles, you directly benefit. It's almost like cutting out the middleman, right? This is your work. This is your material harvest. And then the Nine of Cups, huh, with judgment in between the two. 
It's like your spiritual team is like, let us show you how, let us show you the way, but trust in what you're receiving. Like, don't harden that heart. Don't build up these walls. You know, stay loving, stay nurturing, but know your worth, know your power. Use these epiphanies to really build something I feel quite spectacular for yourself. And then I feel like love is like the second thing. Because first I feel like it's finding this independent nature within myself being able to take care of myself. And then that, I feel like, opens up the Nine of Cups where, listen, I'm really starting to enjoy my life again. What tower, you know, like, has no effect on you anymore. We have Shadow on the bottom of the deck, Carter Pisces, Ruler of Cancer. You know, Shadow can certainly cast um, illusions, Sometimes I can only see what's right in front of me. And maybe that's all I'm meant to see at this moment, right? Instead of like planning my whole life out, let's live it moment by moment. And each epiphany and each time you take a step towards your own success, towards your own inner harmony, it just feels like everything opens up again. Don't forget, we saw the sun. Let's look under that transformation well there's your card the death card and by the way we have justice under that so some of you are cutting ties like I feel like just enough is enough enough is enough um card of Libra I don't know if I said that but justice is about making you whole again but it can't until you cut certain ties what ties? Well, because you have the Eight of Swords and the Waiting Game and the Five of Cups, I feel like if I'm waiting for someone to potentially be who I want them to be, but they're not turning out that way, well then I've got to be real with myself on that too. Because again, what I think that I want here maybe isn't exactly what's best for me because again those two cups have yet to be found so cutting out whatever needs to be cut out so those so justice can be balanced again death card closing of door right why it gives you transformation you know when you close a door or even accept doors that have been closed on you, it allows you to move on to bigger and better things. You know, never fear the death card because the rebirth is, is usually quite beautiful. And listen, maybe always not clear yet, but I feel like, um, I feel like it will be by the time this reading is over. So, let's go ahead and... I wasn't going to take all these cards. Wow. I just kind of get lost into a reading and don't even realize my own hands are doing sometimes. But, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot and let's go right over this. It's interesting you have memories of love and then the Nine of Cups right below that. You know, it might be someone unexpected. Um, it makes me feel, hmm, I, I want to say mellow. Almost like, I don't know, like there's someone who's much more mellow in your life. It's interesting. I don't know why I'm choosing that word. We shall take you. Nine of Cups. Well, listen, I feel like many of you are beginning like this independent type life. You know, it can talk about, a, yeah, some of you've cut ties to someone of the past, can be a divorce. Um, this, I feel like, would have already happened. But the Nine of Cups, it's like ultimately over these financial and material changes, I still find this sometimes... Things are cut out and we're like, oh my God, it was cut out. Like it was taken, but then 
very quickly if you again allow yourself to live in that present moment i feel like it's it's a very quick rebound it's a very quick rebound now we have the nine of cups mirroring the nine of pentacles so i feel like one of the things this is saying is you know how can you have more joy let's say in your life trust yourself trust your you know your epiphanies be proactive you know what i mean like can i build success for myself well it says you can and it says it's unlimited and i feel like that is the thing that's going to bring your inner harmony you know love to the side for a second i feel like first and foremost when i find you know i'm going to say this is successful self-employment doesn't have to be self-employment um but it is you it's you moving towards the top let's say um you know it doesn't even have to mean riches but it just means you can take care of you it brings you to a very independent nature and i feel like you just naturally feel happy there all right let's keep going six of swords so there is the rebounding right after the tower you know what it also to me is saying that something within that tower energy um was toxic to you anyway now doesn't mean i asked for this change um but nonetheless it's like you know your guides are saying just trust us with this so something within that tower whatever the changes were that disruption were it was it feels like ultimately and again i felt this right from the beginning like rebounding from that tower well this is you moving on from that tower you know this the six of swords talks about moving to calmer waters you know it takes a moment but as long as i'm in that boat and i'm heading south <laughs> you know whichever direction i'm heading that's where i'm going to find my calmer waters the hermit over patience and planning and then look at this the eight of pentacles right over spiritual strength and look how the the hermit is illuminating this eight of pentacles eight of pentacles talks about the willingness to go into something as the apprentice i may not know everything but this is energy of learning as you go you know sometimes when i just put my head down and i focus on my creative avenues and again i feel like your spirituality excuse me has a lot to do with that um i mean here is the building of that nine of pentacles you know and again i feel like it is coming from your soul from your experiences so you know some of you i just know you're doing your own thing and um you know if you continue in it i feel like you can be very successful now again you know does that mean i'll have all the money in the world i don't know i'm not going to put a limit on it but i do feel like this is the energy of being able to take care of yourself no doubt you know the eight of pentacles speaks about going into something as the apprentice um but ultimately leaving as the master teacher and i shouldn't say leaving because maybe becoming the master teacher again i feel like your interest has peaked if you follow it i feel like it's just going to lead you to this beautiful line down here minus this all right let's keep going eight new beginning eight of pentacles is mirrored by the nine of cups inner harmony kind of loving my life again after the fact hello ace of pentacles you know to me this is the perfect energy because i feel like if i'm willing to put the work in of the eight of pentacles you know just putting my head down and getting to work doesn't you know i still want to balance i'm not saying it all work and no play um this is a beautiful balance of work and play by the way 
the Eight of Pentacles, and then the Nine of Cups. Beautiful balance of the two. But the Ace of Pentacles to me is the way. I feel like, you know, I put my head down. I get somewhat lost in my creativity. And I feel like the Ace of Pentacles, well, when does it show? It shows very quickly. Ace of Pentacles is, is you know, what I love about the Ace of Pentacles, that something is coming into your physical world. It is meant to enhance your world. Some of you, it is money. Um, but I feel like, no matter what it is for you, it's the ability to give you the way to become or to enter into this success, or at least knowing that I can create this success. So I love the Ace of Pentacles coming out of the chariot. Chariot, unlimited potential. Ace of Pentacles, it's the way, right? It's, it's helping you, right? It's helping you to continue moving forward. All right, we have the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Hangman. Okay, so let's speak about these before we move on. So the Ten of Wands is coming over the Empress's energy, first of all. Um, and the Ten of Wands does speak about a period of time of heavy responsibilities. You know, but all the responsibilities have landed on your shoulders. Now, with the tower above that, Clearly, I feel like the universe is saying you're carrying other people's weight along with your own and um, there was no need for that or it wasn't serving you. So I often feel in the Ten of Wands that this person is subconsciously hoping for a tower and um, the tower does show. But, you know, this tower, again, is nothing to fear. I mean, I know when it happens, it feels that, but if I just keep moving through it, very quickly, I feel like um, you understand it. So the Ten of Wands in me, you know, listen, it just speaks about a time of heavy responsibility. For some of you, you know, it's raising the kids and what have you. But now maybe you're moving it. And I picked this up for a few signs where like the kids are growing up and it's giving you more free time. Um, and it's funny because the hangman is coming over memories of love. It's almost like saying, let's just put love on the back burner for now. And let's get you to this independent state. Let's get you back to the energy of being appreciate, you know, appreciating the things in your life, even those towers. Because I feel like now we're at the point where we can start appreciating that change right something has happened something new has come in you know that's what the ace of pentacles is and what does that ace allow you to do it allows you to drop those wands it allows you to drop them and that is great energy you know i mean like it's like your spiritual team is saying you don't have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders drop some of those wands all right let's keep going i do feel like it's saying there will be love right because we know if this person in the five of cups makes the necessary changes that there are two cups right but for sure i feel like you know it just put on the back burner to move you to a place of independence and then Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what that hangman is hanging there for. Five of Cups. Again. Right over the Eight of Swords now. So I think the one thing we got to be careful of is that we don't stay in the energy of woe is me too long totally understand why we put ourselves there you know we have a right sometimes things happen that um hurt our heart but staying lost in it won't serve you either five of cups so you know where is this barrier it's in your emotional house it's in your emotional house Let's not forget five asked for a change. Let's keep going. All right, interesting. We have the nine of swords over that nine of pentacles. Some of you are not believing in yourselves. 
You're not believing that you have the ability to truly create this success for yourself. You know, this speaks about unnecessary worry. But if I don't, and it's interesting because you have the Eight of Swords here and now we have the Nine of Swords. This is my own thought system. These are the things that I tell myself. And listen, it can be based on other people's opinions, but that doesn't make it the truth. Like, I feel like if nothing else, what I want you to do, what I pray happens in this reading is that you can really start believing in yourself, in your abilities, that you can create success for yourself. We have the Five of Swords. So, you know, where is all this worry coming from? Other people. Other situations. There is that toxicity, right? But your spiritual team is coming right over truth. So you do need to ask yourself, who and what has become toxic to me? What has caused me to carry all these wands when I feel like a lot of those wands don't even belong to you? So this is what your spiritual team is trying to open your eyes to. And it's interesting because being mirrored by the tower but over here with the Six of Swords, it's the ability to move on from that. Five of Swords, I feel like your spiritual team wants you just to be truly honest with yourself. Because this is where my worry is coming from. Again, other people may be telling you, you can't be successful. Well, that's just bold. Let that go by, whatever that was. Well, hello, Ten of Cups. So from the Nine of Cups, now the Ten of Cups. You know, I feel like love was put on a back burner. But the reason it was put on a back burner was so that you can find this independent nature. I feel like it's everything. It feels like it's everything. And then that love that was put on a back burner, well... We go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Well, let's see what follows. The High Priestess, your intuition. So that's not what you're, you're not trusting your intuition. Because um, coming over the Eight of Swords and the Waiting Game and the Five of Cups, two Five of Cups. And then the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, we have one more up here. We have the Hierophant. Can be a Taurus, by the way. Um, but this is about your belief system. It really is. This asks you to, to question it. Like, am I living the type of life I want to live? Or am I living someone else's life? Right? Am I allowing another to control what it is that I do in the world? Am I allowing another to rob me of my truth, my uniqueness, and really what I can create? Harfit wants you to ask yourself all that. Wants you to ask yourself, is there someone with a lower vibration that tends to bring you down? The Empress has learned not to allow that, right? Like you want to be with me, then your vibration must be at the same. Right? We must vibrate at the same level. Doesn't mean I can't help you. Right? But if I'm going to help you, then I'm helping you with the expectations that it will raise your vibration. If it doesn't raise your vibration, then you know. Then you know. I feel like when the Seven of Pentacles shows, it's saying, don't dismiss everything that's on this board, like even the towers, you know, because the seven of pentacles to me is like your tree of life. It is the seed soul of intention, what your, your spirit wanted to experience in this lifetime, you know, and many times they're challenges, you know, it's like your soul before you got here is like, Hmm, can I really build a true success for myself? 
I want to. So I'm going to plant that seed. Can I find real true love? I want to. So I'm going to plant that seed. But now to get to those seeds, it's like my experiences, right? Of what I don't want and what I do want. Who no longer serves me and what is serving me. I feel like love was just put on the back burner for a little while because, listen, I feel like there are definitely like a lot of realizations I feel like you had to have, um, but I feel like once you have them, things just change. And again, I feel like if you focus upon like your own creative house, and again, that can mean a million different things. It can be your career. It can be something, um, just a creative idea, like, you know, where I start getting these epiphanies and I write a book or I create a website. Um, but it does feel like a lot of it is spiritually based. And what I mean by that is you've learned that it is my experiences that have taught me well. So many of you now helping others. And I do feel like that's where you're comfortable at. Like you love not only helping others, but then seeing the benefit of that for them. So I feel like love, again, was just on a back burner. Now my ear, my left ear is ringing. Well, left is love. Right is spite, left is love. So I guess it wants me to look at love. So let's come down and let's look at the Nine and Ten of Cups. Let's talk about love, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Two Swords. Hmm. A little bit of a blindfold on the Two of Swords. Now, I don't hate the Two of Swords because you do have the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords. So the Two of Swords, it feels like like you're coming closer and closer and closer to have these realizations. It's like one final blindfold. Lifting of one final blindfold. All right. Let's follow that a little bit. We have the King of Swords, can be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a uh, Gemini. Funny, I couldn't remember. Um, we have Gemini on the board. We have, I don't even know. Um, because, you know, I look at the sign. I look at, you know, what does this king represent? This king would represent someone who would come to the table in their truth, in the upright. Um, you know, I feel, like it, it, I feel like it's also saying that it's important for you to have someone who is really living their authentic life um, you know, who doesn't wear blindfolds, who doesn't try to make you wear a blindfold. Let's keep following that, though. Temperance, divine timing. You know, it talks about patience. And I do feel like patience is a big part of this because I do feel like, um, like you finding this this independent nature for yourself you finding like this joy within your life again doesn't mean that all things are working out it just means that i'm able to count my blessings small and large um i'm able to understand them more and i definitely feel like you're just becoming more of an independent nature and um listen that only helps you help others even more so temperance, patience, right? Again, I feel like if we're speaking about love, that that love was on a back burner. But this speaks about divine timing. First of all, it says, let go of control, right? Divine timing, if I believe in divine timing, I don't need to try to control it. 
because the, I feel like the more you work on you, the more everything just opens up for you. Also, card of Sagittarius, by the way. So it's like divine is being very proactive, um, not just in your career or your creative house, but also in love. All right, but I'm not done. I want to go below that. Whoa. Ace of Wands. King of Pentacles. Interesting. Two kings. One king potentially has you have a blindfold on. And the other king is carrying the Ace of Wands. Or you're carrying the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Some of you may be dealing with two separate people. And, um, you know, I'm not going to say what king is right, what king is wrong, because I feel like that's something you, you have to answer. But to have, like, this is another reason why I don't want to have a blindfold on here, right? Because I want to be completely honest with myself. I want to follow these two kings, though, just a little bit more. Not even sure that's the right question I want to ask, but look at that. The Eight of Swords, but now it's in reverse. Nice. You know, Scorpio, I feel like you've been going through some changes. And um, some of these changes you didn't ask for. And some of them do feel difficult. But I feel like the ability to rebound from these changes and understand that your soul came here not to just have beautiful experiences, but to have these challenges. Because that's really where that's how you learn how strong you really are. That's where you learn what you know what you don't want in your life, right? I, the only way I can know that is by going through it. You know, it's interesting because it's it's divine who is really flipping that eight of swords around. Oops. We have the devil, card of Capricorn. We have the five of pentacles. We have the nine of wands. And then we have the Knight of Wands. Very interesting. So first of all, um, the Devil's card of Capricorn. But it is attached to the Five of Pentacles. So it does feel like, you know, that was partly what happened up here. Knight of Wands is you reflecting upon that. There's a lot of reflection. But remember, it's about final reflection. It's reflecting back being honest with yourself, knowing what it is you want. And listen, not everybody can give us what it is we want, but that doesn't mean that there's not someone who can. So I feel like you're reflecting, which is exactly what needs to happen when these towers show up. And then the Knight of Wands shows up. Passion, desire, action. Now we have the Ace of Wands here. So I feel like, and the Ace of Pentacles, you know, it's like the universe is trying to help you, I don't know, maybe make decisions. All right, I'm going to go right down the middle. And I'm just asking for anything that I may have missed, any more clarity, keeping everything in mind right down the middle. Finally, my ears opened up. Very strange. Wow, there's the sun again. Beautiful. Well, hello, lovers. Wow. Hello, Ace of Cups. 
Knight of Swords coming into the Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Queen of Wands, Queen of Action. You know, when I do a reading, I feel like you're all people unless I feel it otherwise can represent um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. We have all that on the board. However, I feel like it's about you. Judgment, hello. Listen, do I feel like love was meant to be on the back burner for a little while? I do. Because I think, again, it was important for you to create the type of life that you want for yourself. It doesn't mean that you're done creating it. It means you're on your way. And I feel like definitely like love being on the back burner, though, listen, we don't think that it's like if, if I'm looking for love, like I don't want it to be on the back burner. However, I feel like your guide just saying to really have what you want, right? The ultimate, let's say, in love. Other things may have been just as important. But this is a call to the present moment again, because there's about to be a rebirth and then... I love that the sun showed up. So it makes me feel like whoever this may be, they're coming in the light. And if they're not coming in the light, you're going to be able to see it because shadows can't hide in the light. If they try, you're going to see it. Um, I love the sun's energy because this is you feeling like carefree again and I don't mean like I stop being responsible but it's just it's that that inner child type of energy don't forget we went from the nine of cups to the ten of cups well here's that ace of cups and the lovers keeps popping out it's like this night brings in some type of communi communication and listen, the communication may just simply mean that, you know, someone enters in that just is different. Different. Hmm. I feel like I just got to reflect on, you know, Let's not forget the waiting game is down here. And I feel like that's over. You know, if you allow it be, I feel like it's like you're saying to yourself, listen, I'm not, I'm not waiting for love to happen, right? I'm not going to sit here and wait for it. If someone wants to love me, they're going to love me, right? I, I shouldn't have to wait for it. Um, but this feels completely different though. So there may be someone that you were waiting for and maybe... Um, it didn't turn out the way you wanted, but the universe is saying, well, what if we got something even better? Ace of Cups does speak about unconditional love. So this is someone who will love all the pieces of you. And the lovers just keep showing up. I feel like... Um, in a way, I feel like you can just kind of let go control of who this is, when it is, because I feel like your spiritual team has got it covered. Like, what what's your job? Let's say if you're working hand in hand with the universe, your job is just to realize, like, you know, who, where I put my effort that's not paying off. Um, you know, can I rebound? Do I allow myself to rebound from these towers? Because... The more that we understand the towers as like the empress, listen, you know, we're always going to have challenges in our life. Um, but I feel like the more we understand that we're a spiritual being, um, the more we're able to overcome these challenges. And I feel this, this, whoever this love is, it just feels divine. It just feels divine. Interesting, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups in between the lovers. But your spiritual team right below that Ace of Cups and right below that. I feel like, you know, this is guided. And the sun means that the signs will be very clear. You know, it could be feelings, 
It could be literal signs. Pay attention. Just pay attention to your intuition. We have the high priestess right here. You know, your belief system. Living in it. Not allowing others to rob you of it. You know, you have such loving hearts. And I feel like if um, someone's not giving you the love you deserve, don't think that that's it. Because I feel like there's someone who will and can. Not only that, but they're coming in the light. You know, and I'm saying they're coming in the light. What I feel like, it makes you feel giddy and happy and um, excited. You know what I mean? Like all those feelings of someone new. You know, um, and I feel like enjoy all that. Enjoy it. Wow. Scorpio, I feel like your life is changing. But I feel like you're you're giving it the opportunity for those changes also. I feel like the universe and you are working hand in hand. Just know that. You know, again, creating success for yourself. But also a life that just feels like I feel good in it again. Love just feels like it was on the back burner. But that's temporary. And then the universe is like, and then watch out. In a good way. In a good way. Remember, that empress doesn't close her heart. She stays loving and nurturing. But she also is very dependent on her energy. She, I shouldn't say it dependent. She trusts her own energy above all for the measure of what's good, what's not, what's toxic. What's going to, you know, if someone is to be with someone, I need to lower my vibration. That's your answer right there. Because I feel like this is talking about a higher vibration. And I feel like you're already there or you're on your way. And a lot of it has to do with your experiences already. Um, and then I feel like whatever's coming in, whatever love is on the back burner, I feel like it's of equal vibration. You know, it's like your belief system. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but both are in check. I don't feel like this is someone who put you down. I feel like this is someone who builds you up. And vice versa. So, this is an opportunity for real joy and happiness. Um, but I do feel like it begins with you. And it begins with allowing yourself to rebound after the tower. And I feel like you do. I feel like you do. Okay, let's read from Mother Mary. I feel like it's going to be important, especially present moment. All right. You receive this card as a gentle reminder to keep your focus upon this present moment right now. Have you been reliving old memories, rehashing ancient wounds, or projecting yourself into the future? If so, you're missing out on life, which occurs in the here and now. Mother Mary guides you to enjoy the present, no matter what's going on. As you, as you learn to extract the joy and blessings hidden within every experience, you'll feel continuously fulfilled in this moment. Beautiful. And mercy. Mercy. This card asks you to notice the way in which you relate to people, including yourself. If you are kind and thoughtful towards others, you will have higher self-esteem. While you can't control how another person treats you, mercy and compassion are usually returned in kind. This card is a message to avoid gossip or criticism of yourself or others, and to continuously speak in loving and empowering ways. The higher energy generated by positive words will insulate you from negativity. This is the true meaning of judge not, least G be judged. Beautiful. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, as always, I thank you uh, for just being part of my channel. 
Um, I welcome everyone around the world, but I, that's what I love about this is we have everyone from around the world, but we're all kind of seeking the same thing, right? We're soulmates and uh, we have similar experiences and I feel like that's what brings us together. Um, and Scorpio, I feel like you are on a path where I feel like if you allow it, it just feels like it changes your life. It, you know, it does feel like it changes your life. I feel like trust in yourself, trust in your abilities. Know that if you're, you know, like I'm kind of wanting love, if it was on the back burner, it was with purpose. But know that it also wants to show too. Know your worth, right? Someone's vibrating at the same level as you. Good. If they're not, don't lower your vibration to meet theirs. It won't serve you. You know, let's not forget these five of cups. What happens after that change? Two of cups. Well, we keep seeing the lovers. So, this is definitely two people who have chemistry. And more. And more. So, it's like the universe is supplying for you. It's helping you to be successful. And helping you to have the type of love you want in your life. You know, again, from that nine of cups to the ten of cups. Quite beautiful. And then you look at the ace of pentacles. Add that to the nine of pentacles. That's the ten of pentacles. I feel like a lot of you are working out of your home. Um, but I feel like, listen, trust these epiphanies. I feel like they're going to be very clear. And follow them home. I love you guys. Um, again, I just thank you for being here. I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.